Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you encounter the error 0x800f0905 in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on system and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and select it. In here click on other troubleshooters and afterwards make sure to click on the run button next to Windows update. Now just wait until Windows will scan the issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to provide Windows enough time to automatically install the update. To do this press the Windows button then simply type edit power plan and select it from the search results. In here both on battery and plugged in just make sure to click on all the drop down menus and select the never option. Afterwards just click on the save changes button and then you can check if the problem still persists. You can also run the SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here just type the following command and then press enter. Just wait because the scan can take some time and afterwards restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to perform a system restore. To do this press the Windows button then simply type rstrui and select it as a run command from the search results. In here just click on the next button then choose the earliest point in time before the issue occurred and then press on next again. Now click on the finish button in order to start the restoration procedure. You can afterwards check if the problem still persists. And another great solution is to manually install the update. For this you will need a browser and you will need to access two links that I will also post in the description below. So just go to your browser and then simply access the first link that I posted in the description below. So this web page relates to the update history of Windows 11. What you have to do is identify the KB which is the knowledge base number for the latest version. So in our case will be this one. Just copy it and afterwards just head to the next link that I posted in the description below. So what you have to do in here is just click on the search box and then simply copy paste the update number that we copied from the last page. Now just click on the search button and you'll see that you'll have a few links to download in here. Now simply click on the download button that corresponds with your system architecture and afterwards right click this following link and click on save link as. Choose a location on your PC and then click on the save button. Now minimize everything and go to the download location and simply double click on the update installer. Now wait until the update is installed and afterwards restart your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.